So it's time for an update uh, on the Bullens uh, 1250. As you can see, I mounted the deck and I even cut the grass with it. And the deck works fine. I haven't put the covers on, it's gotten a little dirty and so on, but the deck is fine. But during the first time cutting the grass, guess what happened? I broke a bolt. I broke one of the pulley bolts down there, one of the grade fives just broke off and I'm wondering if it was just loose or what I don't know but what a pain in the butt I had to take everything apart and uh, put it back together to get that bolt out bolt of course had to be drilled out and those are deep bolts they must be in there over an inch uh, it took quite a while because I did not want to ruin the uh, flywheel you know that would have been a real shame so um, other than that it, it gave me a chance to clean up some of the rust issues and so on not really restoring it but I'm just trying to make the tractor so its condition doesn't degrade any more than it has uh, hey I do have a new air filter cover maybe I'll get that in the shot today we'll see I got it off of eBay Think from Joe's Outdoor Power, which I think everybody gets stuff from. Bowens finally has a new spark plug. Uh, it has now uh, a filter. The uh, bowl, the glass bowl underneath has been all cleaned up and so on. The gas tank was cleaned out. I put a gasket which uh, behind the gas pump. Uh, it didn't have one. It was just uh, metal to metal and was leaking oil down the side. I, it's probably too dark to see it, but this side of the engine is really covered in, uh, in oil. Um, but, you know, given everything, after sort of working on this really for the first time, I have to say that uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, it's, you can get to just about everything on this tractor. Uh, even I could remove the tin uh, by reaching the bottom bolts. Everything was more or less accessible, so I was really happy about that. Uh, the other weirdness is this pulley. I'm not sure if you can quite see it, but that pulley sort of uh, doesn't really sit on the the crankshaft that well. I mean, it's it's in order to get the pulleys lined up. It's sitting quite far off. I don't know if that's just the way they all are or, or what. Um, I didn't have any of the leather brown paint, so I'm just using my fa my favorite little uh, touch-up uh, black paint, uh, which is the Rust-Oleum High Heat. Get it at Walmart for like four bucks a can. It's got 15 ounces in the can. Uh, it dries uh, flat black. It dries super quick, and I find it's a very durable paint um, shortly after it dries, you know? Much more durable than a lot of other enamels. So, uh, you know, it's not uh, as good as anything sort of baked on, but as far as spray-on enamels go, it's, it's pretty awesome. Here, I think I have the can around here somewhere. Hold on a sec. This stuff, the uh, Rust-Oleum High Heat, meant for, uh, I guess, gas grills and, and what have you. Um, I really like this stuff, and anything that really isn't that, you know, color sensitive or really matters, I'd go for this stuff. And that's actually what I put on the hanging brackets and so on on the bowling. Let me show you those. So as you can see here, all the hanging brackets and whatnot are in place, and I painted them with that uh, high heat black. That stuff dries in like five minutes. It's it's really amazing how quickly you can work with it. And uh, the setup of the Bolin's deck, in terms of the hangers and so on, it's it's really pretty straightforward because um, I've just looked at a few parts diagrams and so on, and was able to figure out if you get this pin in here this rod pardon me if you get that pin in there hang this pin here you adjust this rod so that that uh, point lines up you're sort of done I mean there's really not much more to do 
The last thing are these little hangers up in here, but they're really pretty straightforward. Um, so once that was all together, it's uh, pretty good. My only issue I had was some of the hangers were a little bent. Some of them had the um, the little uh, axially parts. I can't remember what they're called on the hangers. Um, those were welded on again and so much weld was left at the joint that the hanger wouldn't sit all the way into the attachment point down here so I had to grind away in order to get enough clearance to get a washer and a, a, a spring clip in so uh, what I'm going to do now is probably change the oil put some more air in the tires and whatnot yeah, give it a ride and I'll probably start working on the the uh, seat pan because it needs at least some protection, you know, uh, and probably work on the hood. So that's sort of what I'm up to. I will next time I'll, I'll show you the deck working, but I've got some other things I got to do before then. So uh, see you soon. Here's that new air filter cover that I got off of eBay. It seems to be in uh, decent shape, except for the paint. And I'm just going to throw some of that high heat on it right now. I'm not even going to prime because it's. Uh, I just need to clean it up for now. And so here's the before. Here it's uh, wet. And you can put it on really uh, kind of thick. So, and it doesn't run. That was the other thing I really like about that stuff. Um, it's shiny now, but it, it will be dry in about, uh, I don't know, probably five minutes most. I'll come back to you and show you to you then. So it's been about uh, 15 minutes and I've actually already mounted it. Here's something I didn't expect. Uh, when you lift the deck up all the way, the tire chains uh, hit. The deck just doesn't work with tire chains. That's unfortunate. Uh, so I'm going to have to take these chains off. But I got to do these wheels anyway, so it's really not a big deal. But it is a little surprising. Jesus, it's worn away the paint already uh, here. And it looks like I got too much transmission fluid because uh, it looks like I'm getting a steady leak out of the top there. Uh, transmission sounds fine, uh, it performs great, a lot of power. Uh, it definitely will spin the wheel. Whatever wheel has the least amount of air, <laughs> that's what it seems to do. Uh, and of course it's rubbing on this side too. And here's that uh, filter cover in a flat black paint. Those, uh, you can see my fingerprints on it. Those will clean off. You know, and I'm wondering if this is the right air filter. I mean, my God, that's tight. There's hardly any room for the filter to breathe. Engine seems to run fine, but uh, I'm a little concerned. Anybody know if this is the right size uh, filter cover? You know, leave me a comment. Thanks.